All right, thanks. I appreciate the three of you doing this. Hey, Rick. Hi, uh, Christoph. Let me start with you. You know, as an actor, this is an interesting role. You have to have a very specific tone. If you get it wrong, it's a caricature or it's too odd. And and just as an actor, what was your process for making sure you hit? what you needed to hit in this. Well, I say exactly the same thing, only I directed at Tony. You know, that's very difficult <laughs> to write. If you miss the tone, you know, uh, I'll be stuck with it. Thank you very much. So so it, it, he actually hit it spot on. And um, my philosophy about acting is get out of the way of the character. And um, so that was sufficient. There you go. Well, uh, Tony, I, I'll ask you sort of a variation of the same question, which was just from a writing standpoint, um, making sure that you got what it needed to be, but it not be too much of a character. Was it was that a, a challenge or what was the biggest challenge of writing it? I think, no, I think Christoph's being modest on this one, to be honest with you, with his response, because I, I I think you can take anything on the page and you can destroy it, you know, and he didn't. I think what he brought and what, you know, Matt and I were very kind of keen to get from the original development with this was a character that brought intelligence and calm to things. Because there's nothing more terrifying to me than someone who feels like the most intelligent person in the room. You know, you could very easily just run around and be crazy and, and make mischief. It's not very scary. You know, you want someone who's, who you know is holding back. And that was something that I think, you know, working with Christoph was fantastic in that respect. That, you know, we felt that he was going to bring that to it, that, that um, yeah, that, that level of intelligence and consideration to everything, that he wasn't just barking at people and shouting and insulting people. He was always very calm and leveled. You know, Matt, I, I guess sort of a variation of this, because I'm, I'm really fascinated with the way that the season played out. Uh, there are so many ways this could have gone wrong, um, just – either the way that it was put together, the way it was acted. And just from your perspective, what was one of the more challenging things of, of making sure that at the end of the day, you got the show that you wanted to get? I mean, I, I um, was involved. You go, Matt. Oh, no, Tony, take, please. No, no, no. I, I was hoping you, I was going to ask for you to go. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, certainly my involvement was mostly focused on episode one. So, you know, in terms of carrying it on and telling the whole story, that's really Tony and Christoph. But, you know, in terms of what we did in building the first episode was just making sure that we were assembling an extraordinary cast led, of course, by Christoph, building a, a compware world, a playground that we really wanted to inhabit and felt like we could tell these stories in. And that one that would be a character also, you know, in terms of the architecture, the hierarchy of the office, the stair case that became such a kind of creepy symbol of power um, in that space. So, you know, all of that together and then just working together as a, as a company guided by Tony's script, but just to, to, I think, feel playful. And I think that's what I love so much about all of the actors in this, but Christoph, most of all, is just, there is a, there's a precision, of course, but he is so playful as an actor. And I think that that infects everybody and uh, it creates a spark in everything that we were able to do. Well, let me follow up on that a little bit. You're talking about, you know, your, your, the things you're putting together in the episode in that pilot. What was something you looked out and thought that this is going to be something we have to make sure that the show deals with perfectly at the end? You know, you're sort of looking out of, you're setting the stage. What are you setting the stage for that you want to make sure happens? I mean, the biggest thing is tone, obviously. You know, this is, you know, what is the tone of the show? Is, you know, it's a blend of comedy and drama and thriller. The most important thing for all of us, I think, was that sense of off balance, that sense of being off kilter, um, that no one feels that they're on a, a, an even level, stable surface. Um, and uh, and that trickles down everything from what Christoph was doing and how Tony was writing Patoff and coming into that space. We know Christoph, uh, when I've talked to actors before who are playing sort of unique characters, one of the things they always say it was fun to sort of bring out this part of my personality or, or play this character that I wouldn't be in real life. And was there an aspect of that for you in this? Well, uh, you just said said the interesting bit. You know, you said unique characters. You know, every character is unique. Every single one who crawls the face of this earth is unique. Now, the, the 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 difficult part is to find the things that are worth telling. And that's what the, the writer does. 
Um, and and I I follow that philosophy and I follow the script. I would never say, well, he's he is this, he's that. No, 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 no. It's more complex than that. And that's where it gets interesting. And and um, not that it's a recipe, but I think it's a, it's a, it's a view of the whole world. Well, guys, I got to wrap here. I really enjoyed the series. Uh, and I have to say I was quite surprised as it went along. So uh, I guess you, you've accomplished your, your task. <laughs> Thanks good. a lot. As long Thank as you. you guess it, we guess along. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. Thanks.